All right, we are back for episode nine. Um, this week we're gonna be playing Northern Illinois. They are two and five. Um, I don't really think I have much to say for this week. Um, I guess the only thing would be the fact that Cummings is the first thousand yard rusher of the year of uh, anybody, so that's good. Um, we have a freshman quarterback starting for us. Uh, See that on the depth chart, right? There. Yeah, Blount's gonna be out for three weeks, so we got James Manning starting for us. His awareness is pretty low, um, but his ratings aren't bad. Not bad at all. Um, I don't think I, I can't run with him as much. Um, he's not as good as Blount in the run game. Yeah, not at all. But he is a better thrower, so <laughs> that's good. We're just uh, guess we'll have to just hope that he plays well. Stamina and injury ratings are a lot lower though too. Let's go ahead and get into it. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. At times, the Mid-American Conference gets overlooked. Teams that overlook their MAC foes do so at their own peril. Think about the high level of play we've seen in the last few years, whether it's Toledo going to the big house and beating Michigan, or in the 2012 season, Northern Illinois making it to a BCS Bowl. High-level football in the MAC. We expect more of the same in this one. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Left side. The defender had it and then dropped it. Looked like offsides. Here's the official call. Offside. Defense. Concentration oh, lapse right down. there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. Here we go, here we go. Let's go. Almost mm. intercepted. Here's a case Emma. of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. Yes. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. Quickly, and he's got his man brought down at the 48 yard line. He's tackled around the 38 yard line. Gain of 14 on the big play of the series. They come out in a five wide set. Out of bounds and the 30. So picks him up about three yards with the catch. That'll bring up fourth and one. So they're going to go for it here. Hey, mm -hmm. up, Let's go. Fight, fight. Nice run there. That's a four-yard gain there for the tailback. If something's working, just keep First going with it. Second and ten. Ball on the 26. Oh. No one. 
The defense scoops it. He really wanted that ball, didn't he, Kirk? Man, you can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was Come down. on, he had to be down, right? After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Thank you. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. Tackle made around the eight-yard line. Touchdown, Eastern Michigan. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. They go right, and he's tackled behind the line. That is a loss of three yards. Ready. Throws in the middle. Oh. He's to the 40. And he's taken down at the 46-yard line. Fumble. Picks up the loose ball. Ah. Tackle at the 41 yard line. Now he pitches it. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. Damn it. Touchdown, Northern Illinois. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. Just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up, I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. And he is drilled at the 41. And they were lucky that one didn't go for more. They looked like they've never defended the option before. The tailback had a ton of running room there. Makes it out to about the 26. Let's go. Red 18. Red. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Not out. And he's oh my God. at the two. Touchdown, NIU. Slings it, and he's tackled around the 39-yard line. That's a gain of 15 on the third down again. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. They'll bring it down around the 20-yard line. Let's go, Davis. Touchdown. All right. Big third down. He's going to try and scramble. Got the corner. He's to the 40. Tackle made right around the 46 yard line. Damn it. Throws it. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. That's why I hate zone read on this game. Throws a laser across the middle. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Down and goal. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. 
catch. Oh, they strip it out. You don't think these guys get aggressive when it counts? Terrific hit to prevent the score. That brings up second and goal. And this play is number eight on the drive. Oh, damn, two drops in a row. <laughs> With the pass, oh my god, what is this quarterback doing? What is his receivers doing? Like, thanks, guys. Northern Illinois could take the lead with That's this a field fucking goal. choke. Kicks away, and it's good. I mean, it's a smart game plan. Make the freshman throw the ball. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's there we go. First the down. Quick pass, and they make the stop at midfield. And it's caught, and he's taken down at the 31. I'm just going to get the ball to Davis the whole game, when he's on the field at least. Tackle right around the six-yard line. Michigan. We played a half of football. The Eagles in front, 21 17. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Eastern Michigan is up by four. Here's an opening. He's taken down Damn. around the 32 yard line. Davis held that block, that would have been a huge run. He's on the run. Oh. Tries to thread the needle and it's not gonna work. That wasn't a very accurate throw. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. And he's tackled at about the 31. Oh, oh I just bit on that so hard. Oh, They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Brought down at the 37-yard line. It's Cummings' best run in the last, like, two quarters. First down. From their own 37-yard line. It's first down. All right, so we're not trusting Manning on rollouts. Got to stay in the pocket. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Hopefully people get open. You can't drop that fucking ball. That's going to bring up fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. They'll bring him down at about the 39-yard line. He's tackled at the 38. That is a loss of one yard. That brings up third and 14. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's hit and taken down. I'd say that went about as well as it was hoped it would. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Oh, yeah. I literally can only rely on Davis. 
It's all right. You move on. They bring him in. And for Bullock, that was his second sack of the game. What makes this? Oh my god, you're a defensive lineman. Fucking tackle him. He gets hit out of bounds at the 32. And they make the stop at the 19 yard line. Tackled for a loss. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah. Throws it in a hurry. And he's taken down around the 13-yard line. Northern Illinois is up by three. You yes. gotta wonder here, early in the fourth quarter, if that stop and a play like that might be the momentum swing this team needs to win it. It's up, and it sails through the uprights. The Eagles have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. He makes his way to about the 45. Fumble, loose ball. It's recovered. That was very close to being a total Oh my god. Result. Dude, it, it seriously, like, it hurts not playing with uh, Blount on the field. Makes it out to about the 26. And they got him for a loss. He knew it was a run all the way. Got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. Here's the eighth play of the series. Yes, let's go. And has a first down. What a play, and that is first and goal. There's a big third down here. Probably gonna run it. And he's tackled Damn. around the third. Just enough. Uh -huh. And he makes it out to about the 47 yard line. Gain of one yard. That'll make it third and one. Come to my work. We want it. Come to my work. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. There's a strike complete. Damn. Brought down at about the 41. Come on, tackle, 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 tackle. Oh my god. Down of bounds at the 27. Yeah, let's go. And, intercepted. and that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. Makes it out to about the 23. The Huskies are going to call their second timeout. That'll make it third and one.
Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. run and he's brought down the Huskies so. they're gonna have to call their third and final timeout a win's a win favorite play in football of your quarterback take a knee Cummings is the star of the game Kirk it's as simple as that he played a great game the whole team played all right boys well it wasn't easy yeah Brad he had an excellent game but uh kind of we did it a win's a win for him to be able to step up and show that he's one of the top uh, in the country, and he really didn't disappoint at all. We did enough. Oh, we uh, survived with our true freshman quarterback. Really, the most important aspect. Uh, dude cannot scramble. We can't do any QB runs. No rollouts. No none of that. Uh, he just isn't accurate enough. And uh, gotta keep him in the pocket. And it's difficult. It's not what I'm used to. But, uh, I mean, he does make some decent throws when he is in the pocket. So, I, I guess I will, we'll survive for now. Um, this is going to move us to 5-3 and three on the season. So, we're one game away from being bowl eligible. And, um, I don't know. That sounds pretty good to me. Uh, one point win, uh, big interception right there at the end. Um, like I said, we did literally just enough to get the win. Uh, Manning, 19 of 33. He, he did throw that one pick. Um, 223 yards. Um, Cummings played well. At least good enough. Uh, Davis is a beast. Just got to keep getting the ball to him. Because, I mean, Cummings dropped the ball. Hollis dropped two passes. Toth dropped the ball. Um, it says Davis dropped the ball, but I think he probably just got, like, hit pretty hard or something. That's usually the only time he ever drops a ball. Um, who got that interception on defense? Was it Pearson? Yeah, it was Pearson. Good job by Pearson. <clears throat> Team stats. Uh, we definitely got outgained. Yeah. Uh, we only had 346 yards of offense in this game. But, like I said, we literally did just enough to get the win. 10 of 15 on third downs. I don't know what to say, man. Just a hard fought, tough win. And we got it. All right, so we'll check who we play next week. Uh, we got Toledo next week, and they are definitely going to be a tough team to beat. They're usually like the MAC champion every year. Um, so, whew. Uh, that one's going to be a tough one, probably tougher than this. And I don't know how we're going to pull a win out with uh, Manning at the helm. But uh, anyways, yeah, so that's it. Like I said, we'll catch you next week for Toledo. And... We pull out a win, we're bowl eligible. That's uh, the end of the story there. <laughs>